Hi guys, and welcome back to the Urban Butchery Channel with me, Frank Omachalayor. Now, on today's show, I've got something really special for you. I'm going to be showing you how to use this. Now, this is a Caribou X1. Now, this is a fantastic edge maintenance tool and can be really effective, especially if you're working in a butcher's shop or if you're working in a factory environment or even in your own kitchen. So, without further ado, Bottoms up, heads down, you got it. Let's crack on. So guys, just to give you a little bit of a description, or a little bit of a description of this um, edge maintenance tool. So this is the Caribou X1. Uh, it's French make. Um, it's a very sturdy construction. Uh, as you see, the uh, the weight is about 1178 grams. Uh, it's made out of um, polished stainless steel combined with brushed stainless steel on the frame. Um, just to go through the components, we've got these counterbalance arms, which come up like this, and then drop down. So there's no springs, nothing that can fall off it, uh, get into your product. Um, we've got these blue stoppers here, which are made out of blue plastic. Uh, obviously anybody who's working the meat trade, they'll know that blue. There's nothing blue in meat. So this stands out really well if any of these um, was, were to come off. Uh, very unlikely, I've got to say. Um, these bars, which are here, there's two on this side. And there's one on this side. And on the inside of here is what maintains the edge of your knife. So the edge maintenance part is here. And then when we get further down the bars, we come to this part here. Now what this little um, part here does is that when these are closed together, if you can see that it hits this bar down here. And then just there, here and here creates this lovely angle there which you place your knife down into and this allows us to do uh, edge retrieval so basically the realignment of the edge of your knife so it does two things this so we've got edge maintenance which is through here and edge retrieval which is down in this part here this particular one comes on a stand. Um, you can take this stand off and you can actually bolt this to um, maybe your butcher's block or uh, if you're working in a factory environment, you can um, attach it to the line at the side of you. Um, so you're actually uh, cutting on the, the nylon tables, whatever, and then just to the right hand side of you, you've got your edge maintenance tool and you can keep using it as much as you want to um, through the ergonomic. Um, also, with this particular stand here, if we just turn this round, you can now see that we've got a very slight angle coming this way, like so. And the stand uh, is made that way. So you've got this lovely angle, so that when you put your knife through, it's just at the right angle to get your knife through at the correct angle. So, there you go guys. Oh, before I finish, we've got a little hole here, so we can hang it up at the end of the day's work, if you need to do. So, here we go guys, with some edge maintenance. So, just get a knife, pick it up very carefully. Now you want a nice, secure grip. So, four fingers around the handle. Thumb against the side of the hilt there. Okay, you don't want it too far up here, or you can slide through there. So, to the hilt, nice firm grip. Now what we're going to do, we're going to place the base of the knife here, right to the end of the rods on the X1, and then what we're going to do, we're going to pull it through, nice and gently. Now while I'm doing that, I'm actually bending my wrist up like that as well, so that all of this blade goes all the way through the rods on the X1. So let's do that again. So in we go. Nice and gentle, and run it through. 
So if you're going to do this in real time, it will be like that. Now I recommend that you do it between three and five times. And providing your knife is already sharp, then that should maintain your edge um, for a couple of cuts on maybe, you know, pork legs or with your boning beef out or whatever. Um, but what I would recommend is that you use this tool as much as possible. I understand when you're in a productive situation, you know, and um, the meat's coming past really, really quickly. Um, but on the other side of it, when I said about the stand, this stand can be taken off and this can actually be bolted to the side of your, uh, your line at the side of you. So you can actually use it pretty quickly and then back to cutting. So, base of the knife in, nice firm grip. And one, two, three, four, five. And also when you're doing this, if I just turn that around for you, make sure that your knife is going in nice and straight. Like that, so it comes through. Okay. The problem is if you lean it this way or you lean it that way when you're going through there, you may well get an uneven edge. So you've got to keep it as straight as possible, perpendicular, you're going to put it that way. And three you go. One, two, three. Okay, so that's edge maintenance. So now we're going to go on to edge retrieval. Now, as I said before, edge retrieval is when you've uh, gone across your glove or you've, you may have hit the stainless part of the, the table or your knife may have fallen on the floor. Um, and what happens then is that the edge of this knife or part of the edge of this knife will turn over. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to realign that edge. So here we go. So remember what I said about these parts here, it's this little dip here and this little dip here. When they come down here, they create a really nice angle for you to do edge retrieval. So, so what I'll do then, if I just turn to the side, place the base of the knife, between the rods, push down until I hit that angle at the bottom there. And then I draw it through. I'll put a little bit of pressure on and draw it through. And when you're drawing that knife through, you can actually feel the roughness of the blade. And when it's rough, the edge of the blade, that's generally where you've damaged it. So what you can do, you can actually rub it through like this, if you wish. Not too hard. If you do, do it too hard, what you'll start to do is to create grooves inside of here and you don't really want that so just a nice easy bit of pressure and through right through to the point down you go again nice and gentle press down and pull through and you'll feel it go nice and smooth once you've got to that stage where it's gone nice and smooth you then revert back to the edge maintenance part of this so it's nice and perpendicular, and through we go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. So that's how you use the Caribou X1. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed doing it. If you did, then please press the bell icon and then you'll be notified of any future videos. Please press the subscribe button uh, and be a subscriber. We'd love to have you on board. Uh, thirdly, if you'd like to support the channel, then please follow the link below. And I'll catch you next time on the Urban Butcher Channel. Skills for life.